What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we have a bunch of important stuff to discuss. Uh, obviously, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum are going to be the uh, top three blue chip cryptos we discussed today. And for our new altcoin for this week, it is going to be Cardano, ADA to Bitcoin. So that's going to be pretty awesome. We're definitely going to check that out and, you know, get a little more in depth on that. Otherwise, we have two important things to discuss besides the charting, as you guys saw in the title. We're going to be discussing YouTube paying creators with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and Litecoin. Definitely some very interesting, sketchy stuff. We're going to be discussing that. We're uh, also going to be following up with Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin Futures. Uh, future volumes top 150 million as Kraken at Kraken Exchange. So some pretty interesting stuff. I didn't really know about Litecoin Futures until today. Obviously, if any of that interests you guys, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. And let's jump into today's video. Alright guys, so on the current coin market cap, I do like to start that off. Um, obviously, some of you guys are brand new to the channel, so we do like to discuss the coin market cap as a way to jump into kind of the charting of uh, the cryptocurrencies. So before we do the charts, uh, let's just check out this current coin market cap. You can see things are looking quite actually optimistic. We're seeing a lot of prices uh, start to move up as we begin the new month. You can see Bitcoin dominance is pretty average compared to yesterday 24 hour volume is slowly starting to move up into higher levels indicating money is either moving in or out of exchanges and we can um you know justify that by seeing a market cap of 146 which is an indication that we are seeing money move into the exchanges because it is higher than where it was yesterday now scrolling down you can see there's definitely a wide uh, array of coins that are in green which is obviously beautiful to see litecoin still holding the number five spot uh being 37 uh 3.7 when eos is 3 0.78 so we have about 83 million to catch up and uh, blow past EOS, which I do honestly anticipate happening. Otherwise, you can see only two out of the 10 coins are really in red, and they're not really down by much, Litecoin being one of them, but only down by 0.01%, which is really nothing at all, nothing major. But you can see after the dip that we had, we're pretty much consolidating and trading sideways. We are starting to see some coins start to, you know, move back up into some higher levels, which is obviously what we do, you know, want to see. We want to see that market grow. Um, but otherwise, you know, the markets are doing well the markets are in green things are looking quite beautiful if you ask me uh there are some double digit coins doge obviously today doge does do very well if you guys know why that might be definitely leave a comment down in the description uh in the comments down below but otherwise guys i do kind of want to jump into the exchanges but before or the uh, charts. But before we do that, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to sign up to the Abrit Exchange. They're doing an awesome promotion right now. It does help support the channel. All you got to do is deposit $5 USD into the app and they will send you $25 of free Bitcoin. It's pretty awesome. Definitely recommend checking it out. It does help support the channel. Furthermore, jumping into the topic for discussion today, uh, YouTube accepting or, or giving creators cryptocurrency it sounds interesting but i do kind of want to you know get into that so there's a website called social blade you know we're on it right now and i actually use social blade on a day-to-day -day basis if not i view it probably five times uh, a week which is pretty wild to see the importance of this app now i do check this you know website very 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 often it helps pretty much gauge where your channel's headed the you know the uh subscriber count where your subscribers are going you know all different types of information is displayed here now the one one thing that caught my eye was you know this is my channel crypto tv and you can see it says my estimated yearly earnings is right here and that is an ethereum token which means is you know youtube paying us in cryptocurrency very interesting this is also raven coin right here and it says my monthly earnings are 1483 raven tokens as you can see when i scroll down we have onion token and you can see my last 30 days i've earned three light coins so that's pretty interesting you know to see you know now this website isn't specifically youtube it's not owned by youtube but it does show you the analytics on YouTube. So it's very interesting to see that they uh, changed their fiat payouts and they're now showing you the estimated revenue in cryptocurrency. Now that is some pretty awesome stuff and definitely let me know what you think down below in the comments because that could be pretty awesome to see some massive adoption happening within uh, the cryptocurrency you know, market. So definitely let me know what you think down below. Otherwise, jumping into uh, another topic of discussion today, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin Futures Volumes, top 
drop 150 million at Kraken Exchange. What exactly am I talking about? So basically, it's not just Bitcoin future products that are becoming popular with investors, at least according to the UK based crypto derivatives provider. Uh, crypto Facilities, a subsidiary of San Francisco based exchange Kraken, which I did not even know that that was San Francisco based, that provides Bitcoin and Ether reference data from CME Group, has offered its own derivative products for years, has seen trading volumes in all coins futures markets jump dramatically in recent weeks. In particular, it's Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash futures contracts said head of indices the and product and pricing products sui chung basically told everybody that litecoin is becoming a very 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 popular token in the community and their you know futures are kind of gaining a lot of traction and movement and they're starting to move you know progressively to the you know upside of things and that's pretty awesome you know things are kind of wrapping together and coming together quite well for Litecoin as a whole and the markets were starting to see some many positive, you know, good promoting, you know, articles coming to market. And that is definitely going to help cryptocurrency move its volume to the upside, especially Litecoin and, you know, Bitcoin Cash as well. So that's some pretty awesome stuff, guys. Otherwise, let's just jump into uh, the chartings for today. Now, I do. Obviously, we do have a coin of review that's newer. So we're all going to discuss Cardano in a little more detail today. But otherwise, guys, moving on to Litecoin, you can see Litecoin on its US dollar chart on Coinbase. Very interesting pattern still holding up. Yesterday, we did actually move, you know, our uptrend a slight bit to the right, which seemed pretty progressive. It made sense to move it to the right. And you can see how we're in a channel right now. We're currently facing some areas of resistance, trading sideways, hitting some, you know, uptrend right here. You can see we did play out, you know, quite well. You know, we're kind of slowly pulling back down on our RSI. Volume is pretty much dying off completely. And you can see we're finally testing our uptrend once again. You know, these markets, I did pin a post actually, I forgot, or a comment, I forgot what it was exactly, but it basically was saying something how, these markets are not a closed market. They're always changing. So your graphs and your lines should always be changing as well because this is not a fixed market. And I totally agree with that. And I think that was super important. And I pinned it to the top of the comment section because it's so true. And I do want you guys to understand that once you draw your lines, you got to keep updating them and keep changing them. So that's pretty much what I did. I moved it slightly and you can see that made a little more sense. And now you can see we're facing some issues right here, but we're testing support. Obviously, there's a resistance at $62 and around that 61 to change, high change. And you can see we're finally coming into contact with that. So today is definitely going to be a very important day for some of these altcoins. Now, it's nice to see as I shift our focus, Bitcoin doing very, very, very well, because that may indicate some volume to leak down into Litecoin and some other altcoins. And then we could start to see, you know, Litecoin move up and retest $67, which would be absolutely phenomenal. But Bitcoin looks awesome guys like there's so many awesome things to see within bitcoin unfortunately the one downside is it is nearing overbought on its rsi on its daily so there may be a slight pullback in the next day or two but otherwise things look great we you know we were facing resistance with our uptrend this purple uptrend you can see we broke back below it on march 25th and you can see just today we actually got you know above it or just yesterday we got above it you can see uh, we've had a couple of days trading above our uptrend and you can see we also used this red band on our high low mma as a support to push the price back upwards so what would be really 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 crucial for bitcoin right now is for the coin to close above the uptrend and that should con you know continue to keep the momentum moving up otherwise even if we do break below the uptrend which i truly do think we may end up doing in the next couple of days because of us nearing overbought at least we will have our red band as a support for bitcoin the last time bitcoin uh got above its you know one day charting high low MMA has been over a year, you know, conservatively. It's been like a year and a half since it finally broke above this. So that is a huge thing for, you know, crypto, especially Bitcoin. So I, I really stress it. It's definitely a very good feeling that finally in, you know, 2019, we're starting to see some uptrend, you know, uh, and like I did make a video saying that the bear market is over, but we are starting to see this uptrend and it's, it's coming together very, very, very well. Um, otherwise, Ethereum, 
I believe also looks okay. Uh, pretty much what I said yesterday was pretty much taking place right now. You can see I said we're probably going to get caught in between our high-low MMA resistance at the red band and support at the green band as well as support at our 140. And you can see we're pretty much just consolidating out, uh, trading sideways. You know, I could just draw our line right here. That's truly what I'm looking to see happen is just a probably like two weeks of just consolidation and trading sideways basically to level out the coin and then to build up some momentum and extra support from this purple uptrend and kind of you know lobby the price a little bit higher that's truly what i'm seeing it was very obvious to see some sort of pullback and sideways consolidation within ethereum nothing crazy nothing unexpected so i definitely wait a couple more days before i'm going to buy back into it or buy more into it in dollar cost average because I do think we're going to come back down or consolidate out and I'm going to wait for this uptrend catch the ride up and then you know maybe take some profit off of that lastly to wrap up today's episode guys Cardano the coin of choice by a lot of you guys uh, Cardano was pretty big and I do kind of want to start on the upside and kind of work my way in because we this is you know the first time we've looked at Cardano in a very long time so things to take note of is Cardano on its weekly pretty major uptrend, you know, uh, or sorry, descending triangle, which was caused by our end of 2017 massive, you know, spike. And you can see that slowly caused the descending triangle to form makes sense. You can see we traded right out of the downtrend and found some support. Unfortunately, we didn't see that massive break, which some coins usually, you know, do, but it, it started to form some support and some sideways trading. And basically by bottoming out like that, it gave us a pretty much a guaranteed support level. So shifting our focus now to the daily, you can kind of see what exactly happened and I'll kind of focus out. So you can see the price finally came into contact with its downtrend and we finally broke out of the downtrend. Uh, obviously trading out sideways out of that descending triangle and we pretty much found a bottom support at around this level right here. Now this is Cardano to Bitcoin so it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to call out the prices but you can kind of pause the screen, zoom in, take a screenshot and zoom in on the prices there. Uh, that is where the downtrend seems to end. And then what we are pretty much waited for now is for our week, our, our daily Hila MMA to catch up with Cardano's price. And I love using this as an indicator because it does truly help you know, gauge where exactly movements are and uh, where we could potentially you know, break out of. So you can see what ended up happening is we, we, we traded back upwards and we found some more support, which was up here. I had a little channel right there, which it kind of used as leverage a little bit. And then it kind of came into contact with its high-low MMA. And you can see as it traded out sideways and battled, its support, you know, withstood the prices and the, you know, downwards pressure from its high-low MMA. And it finally pumped off and took up. So now that's a little bit about its past. In terms of its future and moving forward, it's overbought, guys, on its daily. Let's see, it's four-hour. Four hour doesn't look too bad. Um, I do think consolidation is needed right now for Cardano. Otherwise, it most likely is gonna try to pull back down. One of two things is gonna happen. It's gonna pull back down, come into contact with its high-low MMA, or the high-low MMA is going to pull up like this, and then the price is gonna kinda trade sideways like that and meet up with its high-low MMA. But it's inevitably, inevitably gonna meet up with those two bands, and then it could push the price up a little bit higher. As for its daily, that looks a little more concerning because it is currently overbought, which is an indication to me we need to pull back down. After a major, major, major run like this, it only makes sense to me if I had my money in it to take profits out if you bought down here because this is, or anywhere on here to take some profits out because this looks like it's headed right back down. And just to kind of draw things out, it kind of looks like this is what's gonna happen so hopefully that, you know, clears some stuff up. This is the Hila MMA. That's the price. The price could bounce off there, but it definitely looks like it's going to head back down. Obviously sell off here, buy back in over here, ride that puppy right back up. That's what I would recommend for me. You guys do whatever you want. That's the uh, the information for today, guys, though. Um, hopefully, I feel like I should clarify this today is April Fool's. You know, if you guys watch to the end of the video, congratulations. Uh, I can now tell you the joke. It's April Fool's, guys, and it took me probably like... 20 minutes or so to do some background research on why social blade actually posted all these in cryptocurrencies now as exciting as it is to see that you know we're starting to come back up and we're starting to become popular and coins still use or websites still use crypto on here it is an april fool's joke you know for, i read it on reddit and it said it was an april fool's joke so it'll probably be gone tomorrow but i still find that awesome to see that 
there's a Litecoin logo and some other altcoin logos on the screen. I think that's awesome. They also converted it and calculated it all, you know, so that's some pretty cool stuff as well. And um, otherwise, sorry to, you know, ruin some hearts if you guys really thought they were going to accept that. But who knows? Maybe in the future, YouTube may accept, you know, cryptocurrency or may pay out, you know, YouTubers the option in cryptocurrency. Who knows? Maybe they will um, let you guys donate on Super Chat with cryptocurrencies. It's definitely a very possible but guys, that's pretty much going to sum up today's video. Obviously, if you guys stuck through, shout out to you guys. Giveaway is going to be at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching through. And um, I'll see you guys uh, in tomorrow's video. Peace.